All right, so from what I can see with this new patch, just the early data is showing Twin Terror Lux, um, Kog'Maw reroll, and Yone reroll, Heavenly Yone. All right, we got Scuttle Puddle. If anybody hates you, just dab on them with your Pengu. True. We going Blue Kale? Oh, I don't know, man. Blue Kale did just get buffed, though. Blue Kale did just get buffed, and I do have a Shiv on my bench. Berry Tri- Ooh, actually, Lucky Ricochet, though. I could go Teemo. Lucky Ricochet? Is it Teemo or is it or is it, ooh maybe it's maybe it's we play uh, we play R Lucky Ricochet into like a fast nine for Zaya. I'm down. Oh well, actually Porcelain Crest. You know what? I feel like Porcelain Crest though. Let's do it. And then we'll go, like, porcelain this guy for right now. And we'll play Story Weaver next, next, uh, next round. Next round. And honestly, with porcelain... Mm, is it Last Whisper? I mean, we could go Snipers. I feel like Story Weaver is still gonna be, is still gonna be crazy, though. But who's the best porcelain here? I mean, Senna seems like a really good porcelain. We could also just go Reaper right now. I did say Lux, yeah, but that's Twin Terror. I don't know if I don't know if if Twin Terror Lux is uh, I don't know if Lux reroll is good without without like Twin Terror Lux. I think it's green, blue, blue is what you're supposed to go. <clears throat> Which means I don't go Last Whisper. Do we keep this going the way that it is? And honestly, I should put the Amumu in the middle. Could go Bruiser, but I feel like this Kha'Zix is actually like... Oh, actually, am I going to be fighting? Uh, it's still a better chance that I, that I want to fight right. Yeah. This guy went Wandering Trainer. He got Heavenly Faded. That's kind of goaded. Kind of goaded, possibly with a little bit of sauce. Mm, maybe I get the Senna's later. Just so I can start econing. Because if you go Senna, Ash, Amumu, Lissandra, well, you only have to play three of the porcelains if you have if you have that. And I'm definitely not getting this spat. The spat is going real quick. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely Rod, right? This guy's gonna go for Rod, isn't he? It's this, this guy, this guy. 
All right. He waited to see what I actually wanted. Redonkulous. Um, and with and with this, I mean, I feel like it's just Arcanist instead, right? Because we're going to be going Alawi. And then we can go this right here. With Storyweaver instead. We can go, like, Porcelain Zoe. And then for right now, we'll just go, like, Alawi Porcelain. Yeah, I mean, Arcanist Porcelain seems like a good idea. Because then, you know, you could always just go, like, Lux with it. I was thinking Sniper, but, like... I mean, if you go if you go level 6, then you can kind of just run. You can just kind of run it. Level 6 or 7 for reroll. It's probably level 7. Hello. Can we have our, our things... Up, uh, please. Tom Kench, we're actually we're doing our job. Can you like? Thank you. We're trying to fish. What is it? It's money, money and an item component. I think. Yeah. Which, I mean, hey. Jewel Gauntlet. Put that on Zoe. I think I do push for the level. And then I position for the other guy. We'll play four Warden. That's your four Warden. And then we'll put Jewel Gauntlet on Zoe. Maybe we'll slam the uh, the bow as well. Ah, uh, we don't need to. Don't need to. Yeah, for Warden, I feel like... I feel like Warden Frontline is actually going to be quite good this patch, just because, like, you don't have to worry about, like, the, the Behemoth... Um, Behemoth Thresh. Thresh was so abusive last, last patch. All right, so let's let's figure this out. We definitely want Lux, Amumu, Alawi. If we can hit it, Lissandra. Otherwise, it's going to be like... What other ghostly can we run? Probably Morgana in there. I mean, it could be. It could be if we're just playing... Well, we don't need to play another... We don't need to play Ash. Nashers is pretty good there. I have another Alawi. Nice. Sell this for right now. Red buff isn't bad either. Spark. Spark for the Alawi. Actually, it's probably Nashers GS on Zoe. Let's go Spark. Put that on a Moo Moo, and then we'll do Nasher's GS on Zoe. And I'm thinking that we're getting rid of Kale at some point. That's why I took the Spark. How much Story Weaver? Three? Oh. <laughs> he just hit five Story Weaver, right? No. That's four? Okay. Nice. Alright, so we are going that. We can go Nico. Um, it's definitely not recombo here. We are 100% not recomboing. Team building doesn't seem bad. Unified resistance doesn't seem bad when you're playing, um, when you're playing Warden Frontline. I mean, team building's not bad. 
but I feel like I want something immediate so I can keep my streak going. Golden remover is not worth. We'll go unify resistance. But yeah, I think we're going to go seven and then we're going to run like Nico with um, Nico and and uh, what's her face? Lux. What other Arcanists are there? Syndra. Yeah. I don't really have Syndra items yet. <coughs> Probably should have leveled. Put in the Nico. And I think I definitely want the um, four warden frontline for right now. We could go like Nautilus, and we could go. Uh, who else is a warden? Yeah. I, want to see everything. I think we just go four arcanist here. We say we we say screw it to the. Um, To the um, to the thingy, to the story weaver. Because we've already we've already got the we've already got the everything that we need with the spark. This Amum is very difficult to kill. I'd rather just have the damage. Is this the second place? No, he's not. I think I'm still good here because Zoe's gonna gonna ricochet. One more cast and I think I'm okay. Boop, boop. Yeah, we're good. Zoe's just cool like that. Yeah, but I think it's Zoe reroll. I think it's Zoe reroll with the uh, with the Alawi frontline. We could go Crown Guard, or we could go, like, Steadfast... No, not Steadfast Heart. We have four Wardens. We could go Bramble, or we could go Crown Guard. Or Titans, even. Could even go Titans or, or Protector's Vow. Alright, well, it's looking more like... Alright, well, I guess it's looking like this, then. The Bramble. Who's a better frontliner right now? Lowey? Alright, yeah, let's, let's start itemizing her. So let's snapshot this. We'll add in Lissandra, and then that should be four porcelain. And then we can throw in another Arcanist at the end if, if we really have the ability to. Let's roll down to like 30 to see what we can find. Oh, that's so good. I was really hoping to, to two-star the uh, Zoe, but that's that, that's fine. That's fine. We got, we got a Nautilus in there. That's amazing. As long as he can cast. He didn't cast at all. Jesus Christ. Game's over. Everything sucks. We lose. Yo, Naimeta. It is actually going to be Yo, Naimeta, though. For sure it is. I just wanted to try some other stuff since I hit the, uh, since I hit the Porcelain Crest. All right, well, that would have changed things a little bit. That would have changed things a little bit. And actually, this is probably proper positioning. More like this. Two Mythic, two Story Weaver. Yeah. I just wish it was Zoe. How many Zoe's this guy have? None. Okay. But my two-star frontline should be should be pretty darn good. I wouldn't mind like switching over to uh, from Zoe over to Lux. Like, if it just so happened that I that that I don't hit Zoe.
And then last Arcanist would be like... Syndra. Then we have six Arcanist, four Porcelain, four Warden. Which, I mean, we take out Jax. We put in... Mm, this guy. And then we take out Garen. And then we put in Set. Yeah. That's pretty much where we're at. Uh, we do need burn. So we could play we could play a sunfire. We do need burn. Okay, well there's that two star. And then we put burn on uh, Mumu, just because I want like Alawi to just be a mega tank. I don't want her to really have to worry about anything else. So we'll put the burn on a Mumu. And then we'll probably do like a D Claw on Alawi. This guy got this guy was is playing three star Lux. So, guess I'm kind of screwed there. Can't do it. Yeah, this Yone is going to be pretty oppressive, I think. Nice. Wow. It's a lot of true damage. Is that from 4 Reaper? Yeah, it is. Heavenly 4 Reaper is still a thing. Oh, we get gold. Still lost? Yeah, I know. Jeweled Lotus? No. I guess. I don't know. I mean, how, how contested is my Zoe? Because I think if I three-star her, then, then like, I think we're, I think we're in the clear. Hunt it blue. Thank you for the raid. What were you doing? Hello, hello. How you doing, guys? Welcome to the stream. Just trying to figure out this new patch. I'm doing fantastic. Oh, there's the full blue kale. Uh, okay. Wait, why is he second rowing her? What's up with that? I don't know. Really struggling with this set. I don't know why. I mean, it. did you start on set 10? If you started on set 10, I could really imagine why. Because I, I know a lot, of, a lot of people that started on set 10, and it's just like really tough to adjust away from headliners. All right, yeah, I don't think that I'm really getting contested for Zoe, right? This guy's got three. Uh, this guy's got one. This guy's got... Probably gonna go for, like, two. There's a lot of story weavers. I don't think I can do that, actually. I don't know. Just get a little bit more stun in. Yeah, I want to see what this blue kale does. She's actually doing quite a bit of damage with just her autos. And then when she casts... I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's quite a bit... Actually, it's quite a bit of damage when she does happen to cast. Oh my god, that was really close. 21 damage. 21 HP. Never played that much, but a tiny bit of the set with the 6 cost dragon. Then, it, then the then last set a fair bit. Is the new patch out yet? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. Trying to adjust a little bit. Trying to adjust a little bit. I need, like, the cloak. Any noticeable huge meta shifts? Yone is oppressive, but this is my first game. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you, Kachow. 
But yeah, Yone's Yone's oppressive. What else is new? But if you play like Heavenly Yone, I think that that's going to be the craziest thing because Heavenly got a whole bunch of buffs. Heavenly got a whole bunch of buffs, so... I could imagine it's going to be pretty gross. Pretty gross. This guy, I mean, he's he's currently in, in the bottom, but, like, that's just because he hasn't hit 3-star Yone, and he... He's level 9. He fast 9 What is he doing? Saw Kaisa got buffed. She was already fine, so maybe a little bit scary. I could imagine that Kaisa is going to be, like, a good comp. I don't think that she's, that she's going to be, like an absurd comp. Like, I think that Yone is just going to be absurd. Like, look, this is a two-star Yone. Two-star Yone with, with a bunch of Heavenly. And he's already, like, just completely, completely ripping apart my team. But... Um, I think that if people end up getting to, to Zaya, I think Zaya is going to be tough too. Grants increased player health. Punch just came second with Gargantuan Titan BT Yone. Yeah. Only could lose to Kaisa 3. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But Yone 2. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that it's Yone 2 is like. What are we supposed to like? It's, it's Yone 2. You know? Yone 2 is not supposed to be that oppressive. This Zoe 2 is also not that great. I'm going to have to switch it up a little bit. Definitely going to have to switch it up a little bit. Should probably move the Nico a little bit more to the left too. This guy's got Arcanist Crown. How many Arcanists does he have? Yeah, he, he really just hit everything that I wanted. And he got Twin Terror too. Yeah, see, this is this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to play. You're supposed to play the Twin Terror with it. But I, I was just like, I just found Porcelain Crest. Was trying to go for more of like a, just like an Arcanist build in general. Yeah, this is this is probably going to be like the strongest comp of of uh, of the early patch. Like, if you can hit Twin Terror, then you just play. Then you just play Lux. Like, that's probably going to be disgusting. And the craziest thing about, like, playing a Twin Terror comp with such a low-cost champion is that you can actually, like, if you have enough time and you get an early, if you get an early Huey, you can actually, um, three-star your second Twin Terror as well. Like, if you get, like, a champ dupe or two, and then you get Huey, it, it doesn't really take that long to three-star the second Lux. All right, so we got Lilia over there. All right, um, I'm gonna push it. That's what I wanted. And then if I can somehow find a way to get another Arcanist in, because I don't need I don't need the Ash anymore. Six Arcanist, two star that guy, and then we do Hodge for my Lissandra, because she's got Jeweled Lotus already. Probably take the items off of Zoe if I can two star my uh, my Syndra, or actually I could put a couple of them. I could put like Nashers on on Lissandra too. It's like Twin Terror Vex in set ten. Yeah, except it it, it except it's. Uh, I don't think that, I don't think that Lux is, is, like, it's a little comparable to, to Vex. I don't think it's as, nearly as crazy as Vex, though. Is Janna strong? I'm thinking of playing her. Uh, she didn't really see any changes in the patch, and she was, she was like a, a, like a B or C tier comp before, so I could imagine that she's probably A tier since she didn't really have any changes to her. I haven't seen her, though, so I, I can't tell you for sure.
Seven Story Weaver. How's the Blue Kale doing? Where's the Blue Kale? Where is the Blue Kale? This one? I see. Why is why is he second rowing her? Why is he doing that? That's so weird. Also, I'm not going to hit the, the three-star Mumu Sage thing, maybe? I guess for... Yeah, okay. For Omnivamp instead? I could see that. This guy just has so much value on his board. Two-star Wukong, two-star Udyr. Yeah, he's just playing legendary Dragon Lord. If I can hit two star Lissandra, then I think I'll be I'll, I think I'll be in a pretty good spot. I'm gonna do like Lissandra and somebody else. Oh, he hit three star Mumu. Yeah, he was. I know he was going for that. I'm probably gonna have to swap sides too. If I ever feel like I'm gonna be fighting him. I'm actually, just gonna do it right now. Okay, get the Galio out of the way. Toss him to the back line. To the back line with you! Oh, well, he didn't move. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't think this blue Kale is, is, is as strong as, as they had hoped. Like, this is all Aurelia right now. Like, Kale did a, a decent amount, but I feel like a... Uh, I feel like if this was if this was the other Kale, I feel like it would have been it would have done more. Who did I just fight? That's a two-star Lissandra with with adaptive helm. If I could get it, I'd I'd be pretty happy about it. Otherwise, I could take the Shojin or the blue buff, Mythic even. I don't think I go Mythic though. Mythic Lissandra's not bad. Go Archangel? No, Archangel is, is silly. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to go Mythic. Gets a slightly earlier cast. And then we end up running. Yeah. Alright, so let's see if I can two-star my Lissandra. Okay. So we go Mythic on her. We'll go Giant Slayer because she's in the front line. And then we'll just go like JG and Nasher's back here. Maybe position her a little bit more to the right. I mean, two-star Liss is great, but hoping that it's enough. She has a lot of just like straight up stats because of um, because of, of Mythic and Arcanist and Porcelain. Feel like it should be good. The Edge of Night was was kind of oppressive though. Oh my god. Wait, am I good? Almost. Went to the wrong positioning. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, she's missing. Ah! Okay. Kindred is so weird to try to hit. And he had like two Edge of Knights. Yeah, if I'm if I'm gonna be fighting this guy, I have to switch I have to switch sides. Or at least like position my Lux in the middle. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to position my Lux in the middle. Something like this. Okay. Well, I'm actually I'm targeting the cane first, which is Pretty, pretty good, pretty preferable. We should murder the cane immediately, right? Yeah. We on the Yone? We killed the Yone? Almost, almost. Now, now we kill the Yone. This Lissandra is like just missing her, um, her teapot. Well, 
Like it's just barely missing by a hair. But if we get like a Shoujin for my Lux, I think we'd be in a pretty okay spot. No, this is not Crab Rave. This is not Crab Rave, this is Scuttle Puddle. I love Lissandra's ability, it's a game changer. Yeah. It really is. Like if you if you have good positioning for um if you have good positioning for, for Lissandra, it can it can really go well for you. Can change the entire tide of the fight. And then she's just gonna completely murder this guy. Yeah. Goodbye. Alright, so we have two anvils. One of them blue buff, the other's a TG. I think that TG is better, and then we go like Hodge, I guess. So we go TG on this guy, and then I guess we go Hodge on, on Lux. Yeah, not quite what I wanted, but I mean, it, it's it's a bit of healing, at least. Cool. Alright, so I'm targeting the Alawi. Wondering if that's the right play or not. I think that I'm going to be hitting the Lux with, with my Lux. No, I, I hit the hit the Ash with my Lux. Oh wait, now I target the Lux? Do I beat this guy? Oh wait, Lissandra? Uh oh. Oh wait, Lissandra's healing? This is a tough one. Wait a sec. Ayo! We kill him? Six Arcanist better than Twin Terror? Let's go? Alright. Alrighty then. That just freed up like all of our champions if we wanted to try to 3 star. Terra TFT is a god at teamfight tactics. He should do us all a favor, keep playing, and ignore the haters. True. Big facts. Alright, so this is this is proper positioning. This is proper positioning for my for my Lissandra. Okay, well I didn't I didn't account for this guy, but that's okay. My set's also at plus 75%. Ooh, we got, ooh, 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 we got a loot orb. Where is it? Drop it. Oh my God, it's all the way back here. A uh, Titans? Or, ooh, I got another loot orb though. If I get like a Nashers for my Syndra, I feel like that would be a, a decent upgrade. Especially since she just got two starred. Uh, Steadfast Heart, I guess. Steadfast for, for, my, for my Nautilus. It's not going to be like crazy crazy. Also top four, by the way. Top four, by the way. This myth this mythic Lissandra, I think, is actually like just just kind of cracked. Give her a little bit of extra HP and she is and she is set. Top four new patch. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I stopped the Yone at mid mid cast. I'm on the Yone. I should win this one pretty handily. Yeah. All right, neat. Do I get do I get loot orbs? No loot orbs. That's okay. If I get a first, I mean, I, I'll take LP as my loot orb. It's this guy is tough though. This guy's really tough. Is this guy close to any upgrades? No, he doesn't actually need any upgrades. Um, I go for Shiv, I guess, just in case my, my Amumu dies. Just in case. Alright, so I have a little bit of time. I'm not going to worry about rolling down quite yet. I want to accumulate as much money as possible that way in the case that I need to roll down for like a Amumu or a Lowey 3, I might be able to hit. But who is my top priority here? I think I want to I think I want to knock down the Wukong. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I, th I think I'm gonna go for this Wukong. If we can lock down this Wukong... Yep, he's dead. Uh, it's not looking like a good fight for me. Nashers? Yeah, no. Looks like this guy wins right now. His set is the issue. Well, I mean, Wukong would have been the issue, I think, but I locked him down, so now it's set. Well, he can't hit... He can't hit Syndra 3 anyway, so there's no point in holding that. Yeah, I don't, I don't have the money to go for list 3. I would need all of them to show up in one shop. Mm. That's position for the for the set. Let's see if I can target the set with Lissandra. It's it's oh actually no, it's not a 50-50. I just position right in front of him. I think it's worth a chance. Lissandra three. Oh wait, is set dead? Oh, set's almost dead. Set should be dead now though. Okay, Wukong's on the Lux. Did not get stunned. I think that I think that positioning against the set was was the most important thing here, and I'm pretty sure I get a first. Yep, it's a first. Let's go. First game, new patch. It's a first. It's my patch. Those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow my Twitch for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.